You insultingly call Ryan Gosling's character a Ken doll. I do. But like now he really did play Ken. Look, see? So Lloyd knows what's up. He can yeah. see into the future, he knows. How does it feel now knowing you, you beat up Ken? Right, well, <laughs> we beat each other up. You sure. know, I feel like it's kind of an even match. Ryan's photos as Ken have gone viral in the jean vest, the denim vest, shirtless, the abs, the Ken oh, underwear. Yeah. Oh yeah. How did you two react to those photos? Was there Ken underwear? Oh, what? you didn't see no, that No, I missed part? it. Was oh, there yeah. Ken? It says what, what? Ken yeah. instead of Calvin Klein. Instead of Calvin, says Ken? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> you know what's funny? I My brother's it. in the movie. My younger brother's in the movie. That's he amazing. is. Yeah. Okay, well then he really knows. Yeah, he see? knows all about it. Okay, but those photos have your approval? They do. Definitely okay. have, <laughs> yeah. They've been approved. Um. <laughs> Lloyd. I got an urgent locate and destroy. That could be fun. The man's got some street cred. You guys, this movie is, it's so good. I didn't breathe for two hours, except when I was laughing, because the action sequences are so good. It's so funny. What was it like for you two to be back together again and make this fun film after another great one, Knives Out? We're I mean, only back together for one scene. I was gonna say, we don't, we don't have much in this movie <laughs> together. So I mean, the movie itself was fantastic, yeah. but but in terms of our interaction, it was Very pretty... enjoyable for me though, because I got to shoot him in the butt. She but... did shoot me in the ass. Yeah. yeah that's... Sometimes I throw up in his face, sometimes I shoot him. Exactly. It, you know. it's, it's, you know. <laughs> that's the relationship we have. How does that make you feel? Well, it's great, it's great. Every time I know Anna's in the movie, something horrible is gonna happen to me. I just don't know what it's gonna be. How exciting, and you've got another one coming up soon, Ghosted, yes. so that's right, that's how right. can you top it? You're just gonna have to wait and see <laughs> on that one. That yeah. one is. Just wait and see. Um, well, another reunion for you, Chris, with the incredible Russo brothers. Yeah. What is it about the action films that they make, the movies that they make, that just makes it a winning combination? Well, it's that they understand the genre. You know what I mean? There, there's a million, directing is, Problem solving. What it really is, you can have a plan, but once you're on the day, you have to kind of move quickly. And 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 their understanding of action films allows them to move quickly through problems effortlessly and communicate what they want to achieve uh, to the different departments based on that knowledge. So it's it's a really uh, it's it's a comforting feeling as an actor. Thank you. I just learned about directing. Thank that you. That came, uh, came out all right. That's great. All right, okay. Well, you both have also trained. I mean, you trained for Bond trained for a little role called Captain America. How had the training you'd done in the past compared to training for this movie? Was it more? Was it more intense? You get to fight in, not in a gown this time, which is probably nice. Correct. <laughs> well, to me, it was another level of training. For Bond, I barely had time to prepare for it, um, which went well with the character. Mm -hmm. uh, for this one, equally, I wanted to, this character is completely different. Mm -hmm. She has military background experience. She has to be, you know, I wanted to go through that process mm -hmm. to feel like I knew what I was doing and feel confident and in my own. You know, so it was months, months of training, gun shooting, and 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 uh, rehearsals with Ryan and Danush, the choreographies, the stunts. I mean, it was it wasn't it was a lot of hard work and discipline. There's no way around it. You just have to learn it and put the time and the hours and show up every day. And still, when you do it, and you work with the second unit, which is the action unit, and, and then the Russos would watch it, they would not be happy with it, and then you have to go back and repeat <laughs> most of it and, and make it, because that's what he was saying. Like, they know what they want. They're so sure about every single bit of the movie. Yeah. And when it doesn't click, you just have to do it again. And, and Gotta get it right. you're pissed because you're in pain and you're exhausted, but then, it all makes sense. And you have three ribs out of place. At four. Four. Four ribs out four of place. Ribs for real? Out of place. Oh, for real. Yeah. yeah. But she powers through it. But you know. Wow. You know. Okay. Then <laughs> you four go. ribs? That's like most of them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't it? How many ribs do you have? That's all my ribs. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's all okay. I don't even know how to respond to that. Is pain scale out of ten? Yeah. Oh yeah, God. that's okay. a, that's a ten. No, that's but a 10. she but <laughs> yeah. she shows up and she, she does up. the work yeah. and it's it's impressive. She's a killer. Yeah. All right, well Chris, how did training for Captain America compare to training for Lloyd Hansen? Who would win in a fight? Out of uh, Cap and Lloyd, sure. it's got to be Cap. Yep. Come on, I, listen, yeah. I've played Cap way too long to side against them. <laughs> no, it's going to be Cap. Bucky is alive.
That is America's ass. But you gotta, you, you gotta respect Lloyd's outlook. You gotta respect the man that he is, even though he's a sociopath. Not, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but, but, but he's himself. You Ooh. know, he's unapologetically himself. And um, fun for you to play. Very much so. For that reason, that, that you know, it's not necessarily that he's a bad guy because I don't mm -hmm. think bad guys see themselves as bad guys. Mm -hmm. um, he sees himself as probably necessary more than anything else. Um, but, but, but that kind of freedom uh, to try and buck social norms and, yeah. and propriety is what makes it fun to, to, to play him every day. I have to ask you about a different blonde. We're so excited to see you in blonde. Yeah, we have. I have yeah, we, me too. I have so much in common with Ryan. We've both been blonde. In our, uh, <laughs> uh, what can we expect from the movie? And I have to ask, did you get to wear any of Marilyn's real clothes? Because we just saw Kim Kardashian do that. Yeah. Uh, mm. Uh, what can you expect? I, I don't know what, uh, definitely not, the movie is not what people is, ex I don't know what people are expecting, but this is definitely going to be something very surprising and a more intimate uh, take on her life and her journey as a uh, Norma Jean and then the movie star that she became. Mm -hmm. And we did not use anything real. We got a wonderful team of uh, tailors and seamstress and we recreated every single piece the same as you know the ones she wore but yeah we did not touch any of her real stuff.